I kind of lied to Diane and Ricky about my platform for tonight just so I could come and taste all the delicious food. Um, I told them that we don't need investors, but everyone does. Um, I'm actually just here to ask you to rethink the kind of an investment that you take as a business. Um, it doesn't always have to be financial, like she just mentioned. Um, there are many different forms of capital that we can have as a small business that we can offer people and form partnerships to strengthen our company and to, build, to, to grow our business. So at Local Roots NYC, our main forms of capital are a high quality product, farm to city within two hours. Uh, we have community. We have a network of amazing New Yorkers who love food and love to share it with each other. Um, authenticity and also transparency. Um, so I became aware of many of the challenges that uh, investment investors can have in small, um, small food businesses when many of our competitors actually left New York City. Um, when you are growing a business with investors, you have to grow very quickly and scale very quickly so that they see a return on their money. Now, with food, as you guys know, there's not much profit margin, so you have to grow even quicker. Um, and also, like she just mentioned, that food is perishable. It's not an easy thing to transport. So when you're talking about scaling very quickly, while you have very tricky logistics of operations, delivery, and even things like organizing your HR, um, making sure that you are actually pricing out the, the goods that you're selling and the equipment that you have, um, and also just you know, like making sure you have a good task force to have quality control, those are really, really hard when you are only focused on growing a company to prove to investors uh, specific numbers that they're asking for. So how do you say no to money? And how do you build something really beautiful with nothing? Um, I've actually never taken invested money, so I have really had to redefine the kinds of capital that I offer our partners and our community so that they feel confident to also invest themselves and their talents to us. So for example, um, like I mentioned, we have high quality products. So we have never really done any marketing or spent money on advertising because we rely on word of mouth from our customers and also we have loyal members. Um, we also have a really wonderful community that we've built at our markets every single week. We have 25 markets in New York City. Um, and because of that, we've actually received free rent in New York City in lower Manhattan for one year. Like, free rent in New York, that's insane. You can do that by offering community um, in New York City. And also, our dedication to a really strong value system has made it so that, one, we've had a really wonderful army of volunteers of New Yorkers who lend their time and talents to us so that we can become a really strong business. Um, and we also have been able to um, just grow in a way that feels responsible to, and we've also been able to attract really great talent so that we're not spending all of our money um, you know, trying to market ourselves in a certain way, but our community feels confident in us. So I'm asking you guys just to rethink the ways that we view um, economy. Um, imagine the world if we didn't have money. So what kinds of capital could you offer everyone? What kinds of characteristics and values will um, keep you re-inspired and keep you passionate about your work? And because those are things that are extremely valuable in this world. So at Local Roots NYC, we inspire a new home cooking culture and we are healing our local food system by providing convenient access to produce and also building community. And our main forms of capital are community, high quality products, sustainability, and authenticity.